Okay. Basically, clock out the whitewash. Yeah. Okay. Work, talk, and work at the same time. <laughs> yep. Multi talented. You're multi talented. How many more do y'all have to wash? Just that one, and then that one over there, and then we're done for today. Nice. And then we'll be back at it again at 8, 9 o'clock. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Nice. 9 to 5. Nice. I got to get on the other side of the sun and get the photo, because it's kind of backlit it's here. It's brutal about this time. I know. We feel it on our back. Bigger herd, huh? They are going that way, aren't they? Uh oh, that that calf is laying down. The mother's sitting next to it. I think he's just playing.
pretty much that's it. That's it. Okay, super cool. On top of the Needles Eye Tunnel. If you want to get here, go to Needles Eye. You hike up the mountain and you go around, but you gotta get through this. But again, we're not very smart, so here's another trail that way. So maybe that way is easier. I think this way is easier. All right, subscribe to Awesome Documentary there. And Prime Cut Pro. Appreciate it. And look, Christmas tree there. And then we're going to continue on our journey. But before I do, look at that. So this was all shot with the GoPro, most of it, because uh, I had to strap the strap my camera on me because uh, it's treacherous out here. So safety first. I think strapped on pretty good, dude. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. How are you? Good. Always good to hear. All right. So I'm just going to go through a couple of things before we head on into the mine. So the ground in the mine is going to be a little bit uneven. So as you're walking through, just make sure you're watching your step. Also, some areas in the ceiling are going to be a little bit low. That is why we have hard hats. So if I'm wearing my hard hat, you guys have to wear yours. It's just the rules. You're also allowed to, as we're walking through, collect rocks over off to our right in a box on the ground. There's some baggies. Feel free to take a baggie and collect rocks. <laughs> Here we go. 
the gold mine originated? It opened up in 1878. Okay, um, and how long was it mined for? Uh, 26 years, but we did open it up um, during the Cold War and both World Wars in case needed for war efforts, but was officially closed down as like any sort of mine after World War II. So, I'm convinced, I haven't even gone into this, there's more gold out in there. I know there is. Contestant number eight, from Biloxi, Mississippi, this is Hallie. She is a chemical engineer and stands four foot 11. Measurements are 32, 29, 35, with blonde hair and blue eyes. That is number eight. So now is, is this your bike? Yeah. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about the bike? Or? So I was a COVID travel nurse and back in COVID. I was shipped out with FEMA to Texas. I was making all this money. This used to be flat black, 06 Donna Street Bob, black T-bars, black paint. I started out with Red Wheels while I was in Texas. I was making all this money. It's really depressed about everybody dying. And I said I wanted to do a tribute bike. So the nurse represents me with the ratchets behind it, being nurse ratchet because I kind of lost my compassion for humanity after COVID. Um, like salty bitch is what it turned me into. So this bike has been my piece to deal with the trauma I went through with COVID. Now, are you still a nurse or are you? I'm still a nurse. Okay. Well, thank you for your service, first thank of all. You. Awesome. I love your bike. Get a little closer look at it. This is the bad side. <laughs> Good like, side. That's the donut side, and then she's skinny on the other side. <laughs> My buddy that painted this bike, this was his second bike that he ever painted. It looks awesome. Yeah, he just freehanded everything. I like the, uh, how it kind of changes from red to black, you know, fades in perfectly. Yeah, we wanted to go with like the patina look, something really old. And um, I wanted just a nurse emblem on the side. He's like, no, sis. He said, let's put you on it. Did you say you're out of Texas or? We're out of North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. Sweets Customs with a K in Morganton, North Carolina. He's in the medical field. Second bike, third bike he's ever painted. Now he is, he's blowing up and I want all the credit to go to him. Because he Good. has a natural talent and he's to be heard about. Ah, oh, we need some help on the seat. Oh, oh no. I teased. You teased on the seat. Hey, what is that? What is that? Here, check it out. Give me one of the wipes. Where is it? So, first area we are going to talk about is going to be this area directly down here. This is the original entrance of the mine. Every day for work, the miners have to crawl up on their stomachs into the tunnel. Reason being is, well, mine carts are very big and heavy, and if one is coming out of here at full speed while someone is walking into the tunnel, if a collision happens, they could get hurt, and it's not that's not a good thing. We don't want that to happen, so we created a separate entrance. Um, this way, you know, it kept people safer. You crawled up into the tunnel, and didn't get hit by a minecart. I mean, you did feel claustrophobic, but I would much rather feel claustrophobic than get hit with a minecart, so I don't know. What awesome. Do you do Myrtle Beach rallies or anything? Yep, we went to Myrtle Beach bike rally. We did the Throttle Magazine down there. We did the Thunders and the Smokies. We took second place at People's Choice. So, when was yeah. that When was that one? Um, May, Thunder and the Smokies, and then they just had one a couple weeks ago. But oh, we I bet it was nice there. Yes, yeah. super nice. Yeah. All right, awesome, thank you.
end very easily and quickly. It was also used as a multi-purpose area, so if they needed to go to the bathroom, eat their lunch, take a break, if they had to do anything in this mine that wasn't mining, this was the area they did it in. So when they started excavating these walls and all this area, they were finding gold the whole way through? Pretty much all the whole way through. I mean, not really so much in the tunnels where they were mining it out to get to the areas where they found the gold in, but there's always gold in all the rock. And our final contestant tonight, number 10, from Virginia Beach, Virginia, this is Jessica! Her occupation, she is a professional motor motor. And she stands 5 foot 7, with an hourglass figure and blonde hair and green eyes. That is contestant number 10, Jessica from Virginia Beach. Just along the way or what? I mean, you've got your regular rocks out here, but then we have some pretty cool rocks just getting into the areas like with our stopes. There's a lot of fool's gold in some of that rock as well. So that, those ones are probably my favorite. But we do have like, you know, we've got all of the regular like, we've got graphite, we got melandrite, we got, right. um, I think, limonite in here as well. So. This is really cool. All of that is graphite. Nice. Ah, yeah. You make some pencils. Yeah. <laughs> we were, I mean, I believe it's like 80% of our mine is just covered in graphite. So, yeah. Hmm. So cool, all the different mixes of minerals. Well, how much gold did they end up getting out of this mine? So they got out 15,000 ounces of gold out of here in total. Um, it's a thousand ounces short of a thousand pounds. So for the size of the mine and the time this mine was made, it was a decent amount of gold. Um, but I mean, so up in Homestake, they're in Leeds, South Dakota, about three miles that way. They mined out in total during their time, 40 million ounces. Dang. Yeah. So that's where it was mostly. Yep. <laughs> wow. All right. So but off a mountain like this, that's a lot, right? I mean, for a small mountain like ours right here, I mean, it's a decent amount of gold, 15,000 ounces. Oh, yeah, turn it out. Turn it out. Turn it out. 